Hello guys, this is Royal 69501. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about two comic books uh, I already read. One of them is I'm gonna start with DC Universe Present Challengers of the Known. Part one of the story and then issue six of the DC Comic Present. It's done by Dan Didio and Jerry Orwell. Jerry Ordway. Okay. Uh, to be honest with you, I never read anything about Challengers of the Unknown at all. Never read any story about them. I don't even know who these people are. Excuse me. So I read the I read the issue. It was interesting. Maybe some of you that got more knowledge about challengers of the known might think that the or is either good or bad as some of the issues or bad issues. But for me, I, ha I don't have no idea who these people are. The story was good, but a bit confusing. They all flying on the, on the plane. They are. They're all in the plane. The plane crash. And they all wake up to some other place because they were supposed to be I mean they were going to the Himalayas and they all woke up over there and one of the members disappeared I think he's the bad guy while they are on that place uh, when they thought they were all dead well, they are all alive uh, they all get drugged. Actually, they all pass out after uh, the dinner, and then and then they wake up on the crash site again. They get and they got rescued by a helicopter, and a giant monster comes out from inside of a mountain and eat one of them. There's the thing about a medallion. Uh, one of the uh, uh, the group leader had because before he became a director or something he was a archaeologist so it tells you a little bit backstory about the medallion but not much is known about it but we think that the medallion belongs to this world which I think that the, me the medallion I think is like a like a like a key to open in the Himalayas so that way when these people die some, uh, somehow the medallion activates and they all end up here and then they go back again and the monster I don't know where the monster come from or what it is I don't know if the monster is after these people because he's hungry or he's after the medallion so the story for me was a little bit confusing. I like the art. The art is good. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong at all. The art is nice. Okay. So, we see what happened on issue number seven, second part of this story. If it's get better, if we. It is still going to be confused, uh, confusing, so I'm going to wait. I might stop buying it. Issue 8 and wait for the new story. Story I'm sure I'll get published. But I don't know about it, was a bit confusing. 
not much I can say because I'm confused about it. The next one is uh, Blue Bill. Now this is a fun, fun story to read. This part I really enjoy. So what the thing I mean for some of you that uh, is not reading Blue Bill, uh, I never I never read anything about Blue Bill before. Talk about back in the nineties. The little bit I, I know about Blue Beetle was when he was part of the Justice League International, Volume 3, I think, or Volume 2 back in the 90s. Uh, that's about it. And the thing is that this kid, his name is Jaime. Uh, He's trying to to control his his bug suit. I mean, he called his suit bug suit, although it has a specific name which I kind of which I don't remember right now. But he called him bug suit. And the relationship between him, Jaime, and the suit, because they can talk to each other. And they have conversation and everything. So in issue number five, for some reason, Paco knew, or he was about to find out that Jaime and Blue Beetle, both suits are the same person. So automatic, the suit activates his defenses and kill Paco. Actually, but yeah, he killed him. So there's the this argument between Jaime and the box suit. And also, what I find it funny also is that all the names of the main characters they're all Spanish. They're they're all Latinos. You got Jaime, you got Paco, you got uh, let's see. There are some fun expressions here in Spanish, which it was fun. It was fun. Uh, let's see. We got Brenda. We got Doña Cardenas. And also, here's a part here. And the art is good. The art, I really like it. The art is good. Look at that. Really nice art. Look at that. The art is nice. And so Jaime is trying to control the bug suit. But the bug suit is trying to control Jaime. So they spend most of the time they spend more time arguing to each other than working with each other. So <laughs> that's the funny part about it. And they also, because according to the story, the bugs will come from another planet that they got attached to him. I think of it. If the way I don't know how Blue Beetle used to be on the past, but here on the new on the new universe, uh, his bug suit is like is attached into him, inside of him. Think of uh, like a Venom and Carnage, same thing, like a kind of like a symbol, symbol suit. So the so the thing is that Jaime he was chosen. The box who chose him to be like a like a sentinel for these enemies to invade Earth, which they haven't they haven't started yet. 
and a lot of people they're after these bugs too. A lot of lot of people. Like here, there, here, here's here's like a like a witch. This one here. And the art is great. The art is really great. And the thing is, he's, he's kind of like, uh, his personality is uh, he's kind of like a, like a one of those buddy buddy TV shows. They're always arguing, but they always speak to each other. Kind of like that. And also, there's a lot of Spanish expression on the study, which she's funny. It's funny. There is one that say oh por Dios. The other one there is just a scene, a panel that the little girl say says uh, Ave Maria Purísima. I was laughing about it. <laughs> it's just funny for me to find uh, to read Spanish expression on a comic book. It's just a funny funny. And so issue number six. Uh, the thing is that when Bugsuit stabbed Paco, Jaime wants the Bugsuit to save Paco's life. So the only way that the Bugsuit can save Paco was uh, using like a... Remember the movie? There's a movie that kind of like a little machine that goes inside the wound It kind of like a... I don't know the name of it. Here it is. So the box is saying like a, he put in like a little bug inside of pack. But the thing is that he actually saved his life. But he also activates, he's also a bug suit. And Paco accidentally activates the suit. So this guy here is actually Paco. The one was actually down here. So now he's a su uh, now he's a super bug suit. Fighting the blue beetle. Fine. So over here you can see this one here. Yeah. Uh, that he has like a blue tattoo on his back that's his suit that is attached to to him so anytime that there's danger or whatever it's just boom activate it just like venom or carnage kind of like that and Paco, uh, Paco leaves the hospital then he goes to Jaime's house and his process activates and start fighting with against Blue Beetle. And there's there's a pretty good action here, as you can see. Over here. Oops. And I think for this page here yeah, here's, here's the the one that the little girl, his little sister says, Mira pa' allá. That's just a Spanish expression. And <laughs> when I read that, <laughs> I, I started laughing because that's, that's, a, that's a Spanish expression that a lot of people use here in Puerto Rico. They use, I mean, we use it a lot, like, Mira pa' allá. So when when I read that, I started laughing. I was like, "Oh my god!" And mira pa allá, it means look over there, like saying, "Look what happened." That's what it that's what it means. So Blue Beetle and the um, Taco there, they're fighting, arguing, and. Paco and Jaime, he finally find out why he got possessed by the bug suit. 
which I'm not going to tell you. And he finally managed to win the fight against Paco. But then Jaime decides to leave the city, to go to some someplace else. So far, the story is good. It's very entertaining. It has a lot of comedy in it, which is comedy is good. And not, not always have to be chopping heads and blood and superpowers. Uh, comedy, once in a while, kind of give a little bit of flavor, which I like. And like, like I said, the art is good. So, I'm looking forward to to read issue number seven. So if you're not reading Blue Beetle and you might get interest in reading it, I can you sh you should wait that the trade paperback comes out. Or you can wait for the new story arc to start. Because it's good. It's fun. I really enjoyed reading this blue beetle. Well, guys, that's all. Uh, let's see. If, uh, I thought I know I have to say something else. That's it. If I can remember. Oh well, I was about to, I was about to say something else and I forgot. Oh well. If I remember what I was supposed to say, then I will say on the next video. Well, that's it for now guys. Till later. Bye.